and welcome to Racing from Delaware, Delaware Park. Park. I'm Rich Glazier, and we're going to take a look at Monday's races, all nine of them. And all nine of them were run on the main track because of yesterday's all-day rain. And we had a little rain this morning also, I believe. So sloppy going here at Delaware today. So for you people that like to bet the mutters, today was your day. So uh, we'll sit back and relax. We'll show you those nine races and hope you had some winners. Because they were off the turf, that meant Bungie's horse didn't count today. So... Uh, Nothing for him today. Does he have one for Wednesday? He seriously doubts they'll be on the turf Wednesday either, but just in case. Lemon Zip. Lemon Zip is his horse on the turf for Wednesday. All right, Bungie, thank you. Off you go. And that takes care of that. And now let's get right to the races. At 115, these horses lined up in the starting gate. And the favorite was Flamingo Chick at 8 to 5. They're going to go a mile and 70 yards. And the voice of Delaware Park is John Curran. Here's his call. We're set. And they're off. She's a sassy lady, goes for that lead toward the inside. It's Kelly's Ford and Ephesians 6. Up on the outside, Flamingo Chick. Far outside, it's going to be Estrella Grande caught wide into that turn, and Demelza will take to the inside and save a lot of ground at the back. Around the first turn, she's a sassy lady by a length and a quarter. Ephesians 6 is right there in second, trying to move up with a rail opening, finds it and takes advantage of it. And Ephesians 6 on the inside goes right on by. She's a sassy lady with that rail opening, and now they're re-engaged, basically going head to head to head as they make their way toward the back stretch. Opening quarter in 24 seconds flat. They've got about four lengths on Flamingo Chick and Estrella Grande. Then a gap of about three lengths to Kelly's Ford and Demelza continues the trail as they make their way toward the half mile marker. Now she's a sassy lady, regained that lead, and now Ephesians 6 goes from the inside to the outside. We'll see how that works out. Then a gap of three and a half lengths further back to on the outside. It's she's a make that on the far outside, Estrella Grande toward the inside Flamingo Chick. Kelly's Ford and Demelza at the back. About eight or nine lengths from front to back. Half went in 48 and two. She's a sassy lady in front now by four or five. Ephesians six has dropped back. Next in line, Flamingo Chick rallying with the rail, but Kelly's Ford followed by Estrella Grande and Demelza continues the trail. Right now it's all she's a sassy lady. Has it by about seven or eight lengths with a quarter to go. They went the six furlongs in 114 and three and she's a sassy lady in command as they turn for home. Ephesians six toward the inside. Kelly's Ford between horses and Flamingo Chick they're all battling for second, third, and fourth, but it's going to be She's a Sassy Lady in front by a comfortable margin of maybe eight or nine lengths. She's a Sassy Lady will take the opener under Angel Suarez by about eight. The battle for second, Kelly's Ford and Flamingo Chick down to the wire. That's a head bomb. Well, an easy victory, close for second, but no doubt about the winner. She's a Sassy Lady for what an angel, Angel Suarez. For Gerald Bennett and Winning Stables Incorporated, six even, three forty, two forty. Flamingo Chick with Rodriguez, three dollars, two forty. Kelly's Ford with Sedania, three sixty. Exact the twenty eighty. The try one seventy eight eighty. The Superfecta with the two, two thirty two eighty. Race two has shortens up to five and a half furlongs in this one. Scratch the two, Mrs. Knight. The favorite was on the rail, Roraima Dulce. Here's John. And they're off. Rarima Dose breaks well from the inside path and quickly opens up a length and a half on the field. Dance and Debbie racing second. Right alongside, double down Donna. Far outside, Scorpion Dancer moving up toward the inside, release the Glacken, and about four lengths further back to Midday Prayer as they make their way down the back stretch. 
where Remados leads it by length over Danson Debbie. Two lengths to release the Glacken and Scorpion Dancer toward the outside. Next in line, it's Double Down Donna, and Midday Prayer continues at the back with three eights to go. Rorema Dose in front by two. Dance and Debbie's in pursuit second, followed by Scorpion Dancer, and the field quickly spreads out. A gap of three and a further back to release the Glacken, followed by Midday Prayer, and Double Down Donna doesn't have it today as they head for home with Rorema Dose on the front end. Still leads it by about two lengths. Dance and Debbie still in pursuit. Next in line, that Scorpion Dancer. They've got a furlong to go, and Roremado's trying to fend off. Dance and Debbie who has the momentum. Dance and Debbie from the outside engaging, and now Dance and Debbie edging away. Dance and Debbie will take this one. Scorpion Dancer up for second, followed by Roremado's far back to Midday Prayer, rounding out your super. And another Mammoth Invader strikes at Delaware. Dance and Debbie for Relu Gutierrez. Off to a great start since coming to the Mid-Atlantic. Ralph Revizio, the trainer for James Aguilar Juarez. Seven even, 380, 220. Scorpion Dancer with Chappie, 440, 220. Ramo Dos with Cedeno, 220. Exact the 29, 20. The try, 81, 80. First double of the day, 29, 40. And that Superfecta. 337.50, and that winner was another Delaware certified winner. Even though coming in from Monmouth. All right, third race up next, and the third race was originally scheduled for the turf, but switched to the main track at five furlongs. Scratch the two and the seven. And big favorite was Boondoggle at three to five. In there, off. And Smoky Blues breaks well, goes right for that lead, quickly sprints clear of the field by almost two lengths. Up on the outside, it's Boondoggle in the second, followed by Geronimo Spirit. Next in line, that's Radcliffe Royale, and the trailer is Scoop and Nails as they speed past the half-mile marker. Smoky Blues by a length, with Boondoggle right there in second, lengthening it further back to Geronimo Spirit. Then a gap of three lengths to Scoop and Nails as they make their way into the turn. On the front end, it's the favorites going at it. Smokey Blues on the inside, Boondog on the outside. It's still three and a half to Geronimo Spirit. Then a gap of five more to Radcliffe Royale and right alongside Scoop and Nails as they head for home with Smokey Blues trying to fend off Boondoggle at the top of the stretch. Smokey Blues leads it by a length. Boondoggle's trying to go by but couldn't. On the inside, Geronimo Spirit still with a shot. A furlong to go. Smokey Blues is digging in. Geronimo Spirit rallies toward the inside. On the outside, Boondoggle's hanging. It's Smokey Blues who won the duel and will prevail in the race. Smokey Blues wins it by three. Geronimo Spirit getting second with Boondoggle third. And Smokey Blues gets it done again for Angel Suarez, a double. Gerald Bennett, a double. And this one was Robson Thoroughbreds, the owner. 720, 520, 240. Geronimo Spirit with Kios. Uh, long shot gets up for second, $21, 580. Boondoggle, the big favorite with Koa, 210. Zach the 11080 to try 21660 35 double 18 bucks to pick 3 5890 and there was no superfecta in that five horse field On to the fourth we go By the way that third started to pick 5 where we had a $2500 carryover and they bet uh, 30000 into it today so nice pot in that pick five. Starts off with a low-priced winner. Fourth race at a mile and 70 yards on the sloppy track. Scratch the 1A part of an entry. And the three awesome bill. Even money here was Palladian. Here's John. In there, off. Champions Maternal breaks well, as does Pladian, and up on the outside tip of those three across the track in the early going. Toward the inside, it's Super Check, followed by Nicaradelic Rocks, and Belly Dancer will settle in the sixth as they make their way around that first turn. And on the front end, it is Pladian by about a length and a half, tip it on the outside, down toward the inside, Champions Maternal, saving ground along the rail. 
followed by Super Check. Four or five lengths further back than the Caradelic Rocks and Belly Dancer is at the back. Opening quarter in 23 and 4 as they straighten away with played in your favorite, leading it by three parts. Tip it on the outside, racing second. Two lengths, the Champions Maternal riding the rail in third. Up on the outside, that Super Check in fourth. Then a gap of six lengths and the Caradelic Rocks, another six lengths to Belly Dancer as they make their way down the back stretch. Plating on the inside, leads it by three parts over Tippet. It. It's about two lengths further back to Super Check on the outside. Champions Maternal on the inside. Five more to Caradelic Rocks and still about six more to a lagging belly dancer. Half 48 and two as they race into the turn. With Plating on the front end, the great Tippet is still right there in second. Two and a half lengths to Champions Maternal. Super Check has dropped back. Then the Caradelic Rocks and belly dancer continues the trail as they race into the turn. Plating trying to fend off Tippet still. Three lengths further back to Champions Maternal trying to muster a rally in third. The rest are far back. With a quarter to go, it's Plating still on the front end. Up on the outside, it's Tippet. Champions Maternal rallies on the inside just a bit as they turn for home with Plating still to catch. Leads it by three lengths. On the move, Champions Maternal in second, going after that leader, followed by Tippet in third. It's Plating trying to hold on. Champions Maternal's making a bit of a bid, but Plating has a margin. It's Plating in front with Champions Maternal. It's going to be Plating to hold on. Champions Maternal settles for second, followed by Tippet, and it looked like Nicaradelic Rocks. And the big favorite does do it, Pledeum, Pledeum, for CC Carol Cedeno, for Kieran McGee, off the claim, instant dividends, Aaron McAway, the owner. Four dollars to sixty to ten, Champions Maternal with Trevor. Three twenty to sixty, Tippet with Koa. 340, the exact, the 1240, the try, 6820, the 5-5 five, five double, 16 bucks, the pick three, 27 bucks, pick four, 138.80, and the super with the seven, 139.70. To the fifth we go. This one was originally scheduled for the turf, but transferred to the main track. And the distance changed to one mile. Scratch the 1A part of an entry, the six and the nine. Keone would have been Bungie's pick, but it was off the turf, so it doesn't count. Win or lose. And the favorite was Bernadine. Here's John. And they're off. Look like Bullens broke a step slowly from the outside. Bernardian away well. Also right there, it should be fine. On the far outside, Keone is looking for a spot as they race into that first turn. Bernardian toward the outside, it should be fine. Now going to cross over and get that lead. Bernardian toward the inside, now going with that one, followed by Walk Through Fire. Has a notion toward the inside. Keone just dropped back next in line, followed by Tapper, and Bullen is at the back. It should be fine. Leads it by half over the favorite Bernardian. Right there is Walk Through Fire, a close up third. Two lengths to Has a Notion, followed by Keone. Tapper is next in line, and Bullen continues at the back. Opening quarter was a rather leisurely 25 and 4. And on the front end, it should be fine. Leads it by a length and a half now over Bernardian toward the inside. Walk Through Fire right there alongside. Next in line, Has a Notion. Tapper begins to advance. Then five lengths to Keone dropping back, and Bullen passing that one. Half in 15 1, still not taxing fractions on the front end. It should be fine. Showing the way now. Bernardian is chasing in second. Tapper has moved forwardly in third. To the inside has an ocean, followed by Walk Through Fire, and far back to Bullen, even further to Keone. Round the bend they race. It should be fine. On the inside, Bernardian. Here comes Tapper making a three wide move, challenging, and we have a trio across the track. Three and a half lengths to has an ocean, followed by Walk Through Fire. The rest out of it as they turn for home. The favorites hook up. Bernardian on the inside, Tapper on the outside. Tapper now. Sticks a head in front. Barnardian trying to battle back toward the inside, followed by Has an Ocean trying to kick it in in third with a furlong to go. It's Tapper on the outside by a neck. Bernardian battles back on the inside. Gamling is coming back. It's Tapper on the outside. Bernardian on the inside. Tapper and Bernardian, and Tapper wins it by a hard fought neck. And Bernardian. the two favorites battled it out down the stretch, and Tapir uh, did the job and got up for CC. Carol Cedeno, a double. Ernesto Torres, who mostly wins with the Arabians, had this one, this grandson of Tappet, ready to go. Jose Luis Espinoza, the owner. 
440, 220, 210. Bernadine with Pedroza, 240, 210. Has an ocean with Suarez, four dollars. Exact to seven bucks. The try, 38.80. The double, 13.20. Pick three, 33.90. And a super with the eight, one hundred dollars and seventy cents. And that brings us to the sixth race on the card. On the nine race card, all thoroughbreds today, no Arabian race. And we had a field of seven. And it looks like the favorite was Ballerina Kitten on the bottom here. And here's John with the call. One acting up a bit in the gate there, and they're off. And Ballerina Kidding gets away well, but Goldel toward the inside quickly to challenge. Right there, revolving account between horses up on the outside. Nobody's Angel and Banana Cova. They're bunched up there as they make their way down the back stretch with Gold on the inside by a half. Ballerina Kitten right there, second. Nobody's Angel rushing up into third, followed by Banana Cova. Sadie's Magic toward the inside, and with the rail, that's revolving account. Seldy Queen is the trailer as they race past the half mile marker with Goldus showing the way. Ballerina Kitten is right there, second. Nobody's Angel only length further away in third. Then a gap of two, and they plant the Sadie's Magic toward the inside, revolving account, followed by Banana Cova and Seldy Queen. As they race around the bend on the front end, it's Gold on the inside. Ballerina Kitten on the outside. They've opened up now four or five lengths on revolving account moving up toward the inside of nobody's angel sadie's magic has to go three wide as they head for home on the outside here comes your favorite ballerina kitten to take command on the inside gold trying to battle back in second revolving account is going well in third and going after the leader with a furlong to go it's ballerina kitten in front by two lengths gold toward the inside revolving account closing on the outside it's ballerina kitten trying to get to that wire revolving account is coming fast here comes revolving account right on by revolving account will win edging away ballerina kitten Kitten getting second. And revolving account comes a running at the end for Goa with Koa. Kabar Koa for Danny Velasquez and run for fun racing. First price in the pick five sequence. 15, 20, 7, 20, 4, 20. Ballerina Kitten with Augusto Marin, 343 even. Celtic Queen with Panis, $6. Exact to 54.40. The try, 461.40. Pair of threes constituted the double of $41. The pick three, 45.20. And that superfecta, 876.70. Okie dokie. Lucky seventh race up next. Scratch the 1, 3, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Oh, a big favorite in here. Dorcas Carey at 1 to 5, the 10 horse. And they're going 5 furlongs. We're set. And they're off. Princess Nakia toward the inside breaks well. Dorcas carry up on the far outside. Toward the inside, that's Penny Feather, followed by down along the rail. Brooksley's on the move now. Then comes Tonks in her sleep, and the trailer is Regal Treasure as they speed past the half mile marker. Into the turn they go. Here comes Dorcas carry the favorite to take on Princess Nakia and quickly to the front. Dorcas Carey leads it by a length and a half. Princess Nakia back in the second, followed by Penny Feather. Brooksley toward the inside. Next in line is Talks in her sleep, and the trailer still is Regal Treasure. Around the bin, Dorcas Carey pulling clear by four lengths now without much urging. Dorcas Carey leads it by five as they head for home. Looks like the battle might be for second. Princess Nakia toward the inside. Up on the outside, that's Brooksley, but it's all Dorcas Carey in command with a furlong to go. Leads it by five over Princess Nakia and Brooksley battling for second and third, but still under a hand ride. Dorcas Carey, Victor Carrasco just guiding this one to the wire without even working up a sweat. Wins it by about six or seven. Brooksley getting second. Pretty big margin for five furlong short race, but... Uh, Dorcas Carey did it with ease for another victory for Victor, Victor Carrasco, for Keith Nations, who's winning here at quite a good percentage, Vince Campanella, the owner, two, 260, 210, 210.
got a lot of money. Brooksy was the second choice, ran second with McCarthy, 240-210, and Princess Nikia with Suarez, 210. The exacta, look at that, $4 exacta. The try, not much better, $6.80. The double paid $26.60. The pick three, $19.40. Pick five was pretty formful today, but with that big pool in there, you still got almost $600 for a dollar, $5.96 even. And the super with the four, $10.50. Coin! Yeah, the winner, Dorcas Carey, was claimed by Scott Lake. All righty, on to the eighth race. This race, yeah, it could have been a stakes race. There's only five of them in here, but a lot of these horses have competed in stakes events, some in graded stakes events, and some have won stakes events. So it's almost like a little stakes race here on a Monday afternoon. Scratch the six. The three to five favorite was you know two. So let's watch him go a mile and 70. And they're off. You know two breaks well, fires right for that lead and will try and slow things down a little bit there, but has company on the inside now from Wow Water Brap. Forever Lisa right there between horses. Followed by up on the outside, that's Vent to Go, and Nick's Warrior drops back to last as they race around that first turn. Wow Water Brap comes out on top, opens up three lengths on the field. Up on the outside, you know two toward the inside, Forever Lisa. The two favorites are heads apart in second and third, then a gap of three lengths to Nick's Warrior, and up on the outside, Vent to Go. Opening quarter goes in 23 and 2 as they straighten away with Wow What a Brat leading the way down the backside. Leads it by a clear two and a half lengths now. As we have the four taken up, the four, you know, too, has been taken up out of the race there. A problem with the four as they make the way down the back stretch. Wow What a Brat by a length. Forever Liesel racing second, followed by Ventigo and Nick's Warrior toward the inside. Again, the four, you know, too, has been pulled up and out of the race. Half and 47 and 3 as they race into the turn. Wow What a Brat on the inside, Forever Liesel on the outside. Two lengths to Vent to go, and Nick's Warrior, they're teamed up there as they make their way into the turn. Side by side on the front end now. Wow, what a brought in Forever Liesel. Nick's Warrior trying to gain in third. Vent to go up on the outside, fourth, as they race around the bend. Still all four with a shot. And now Forever Liesel guided to the front by a length over. Wow, what a brought. Nick's Warrior comes off the rail trying to put in a rally, followed by Vent to go as they turn for home. Forever Liesel leads it. Wow, what a brought trying to come back for more on the inside. Up on the outside, it's Nick's Warrior. It's Forever Liesel showing the way down the lane by three lengths now. Looks like they're battling for second with Nick's Warrior and wow, what a brat! Forever Liesel, hand ridden out to the wire. Forever Liesel will prevail. Nick's Warrior, second best. Wow, what a brat on the inside third. Well, pretty impressive win there for Forever Liesel. Another victory for Victor. Victor Carrasco, back to back scores and e easy wins for both of those. Michelle Nevin. Ship this one down from Saratoga, where this one finished third in a little restricted stakes up there last time out. Found a good spot here at Delaware. Kallenberg Farms, the owner. 540, 283, 40 to show. Nick's Warrior with Wolfson, 646 even. And wow, what a brat with Nunez, 720 to show. You might have heard John say the four you know two pulled up. Hope that uh, she's all right because she's a pretty nice horse. And she's a stakes placed also. Well, we'll see. $41 for the exact of the try, 139.40. The double, 740. The pick three, 2880. The pick four, $60. And there was no superfecta in that race. And that brings us to the ninth and final. And as I said earlier, they are all thoroughbreds today. So naturally, this race is for the thoroughbreds. And a good size field of eight will wrap up the day. And the slight favorite was Conquistador Fuego. Uh, a few dollars more bet on that one than on Hero of Fire. Hero of Fire was the lowest double and pick three possibility, though. Uh, so we'll see if one of those two take it or somebody else as we watch the nightcap 
at Delaware Park. And they're off. Looks like the one got away a step slowly there, just a scratch. Benny Jr. goes right to the lead and quickly opens up a length and a half, two lengths on the field. It's Benny Jr. down the back stretch. Toward the inside, Bay Street Bob is there. Conquistador Fuego in between horses up on the outside. Colonel North, then a gap of about five lengths further back to Hero of Fire. I'm running late, Mr. Mistaken Identity, and the slow starter just a scratch is the trailer as they race into the turn. Benny Jr. showing the way, leads it by about three lengths. On the outside, Conquistador Fuego toward the inside, Bay Street Bob. Then a gap of seven lengths further back to Hero of Fire, trying to mental rally. As they race into the turn, it's still on the front end, Benny Jr. Now up on the outside, uh, looking to kick in. There's Colonel North in the second now with Conquistador Fuego in third. Bay Street Bob is dropping back, Hero of Fire trying to mount a rally. The rest are far back as they head for home with Benny Jr. to catch. The lead is about four lengths now. Conquistador Fuego is there. Hero Fire rallies on the extreme outside. Colonel North between horses, but it's Benny Jr. Took control at the start and has had daylight all the way around. Benny Jr. needs a 16th to go, and Benny Jr. will prevail. Hero of Fire rallies well in the second, followed by Conquistador Fuego and Colonel North. Benny Jr. takes the nightcap here for Shannonuski. And Bobby Raymond, the trainer, the owner was Richard Joseph Smith. 1740, so a good price in the nightcap. 1740, 660, and 320. Hero of Fire came from way back to get second for Jose Garcia and Gennady Dodachenko. 360, 240. Conquistador Fuego with La Pastina. 220. The final exact of the day, 65.40. The try, 147.60. Double, 57.80. Pick three, 35.60. And the super with the seven, 214.80. And that takes care of the Monday races on a kind of a dreary Monday on a sloppy track. But uh, if you had the winners, you don't care what the weather was like. So uh, now we'll take a look at the handle on those nine races. One million, one sixty-seven, one forty-three. So not so bad. Now our next live racing day is Wednesday, and don't forget this Saturday is Owner's Day. What does that mean to you if you're not an owner? Well, it means twelve races with big fields. So you'll like that, and that's usually one of our biggest days of the year. Uh, whether you're celebrating the owners, increased purses, and just a fun day. Uh, the, probably a little booth out in the grove there selling artwork and stuff like that. Uh, so you might want to come out and out for Owner's Day Saturday here at Delaware Park. All right, that will do it for tonight's show. We're on every night of the week on Channel 28 at 11, except on Saturday nights. We're on at 10. Thanks for watching, everybody, and good night.